Hello, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this car. By the way, this stamp set is carried, uh, die set and stamp set. I've carried over the Poppy Parade. These dies obviously haven't been carried over, but I'm going to show you how I made it anyway. To make this card, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored in four up. Scored up four and one eighth, folded in half. I've got a two pieces of five. I've got two card bases. Two pieces of um, basic white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One for the inside and one for the outside. This one I've already embossed using this embossing folder, and I can't remember the name of it. It's a stamping up embossing folder, textured, somewhat textured, artistic textured or something. And I've already embossed it. And that will go on the front. Stamp sets I'm using. I'm using Blessings from Home and the stamp set. Stamp, have a perfect birthday. That's just this here. And the dies are from Perfect Moment. I've already cut these out, so I need this one. And is that there? This one. Oh, and this one. Now the back of these are vellum. And what I've done is I coloured in some vellum. Water coloured. And that's how I got them to go so blue or a tint of blue. So I've got another piece or two pieces of vellum here to do the same again for our flowers today. So we'll do that bit first. And what I'll do is find my water bottle. Right, this. Right, what I did, I'm using Misty Moonlight. This has been um, retired. And all I did was hit the vellum a few times. Then sprayed it with some water. And with the brush, just painted it out. Making sure the piece of vellum's covered in blue. Doesn't need to be perfect, you don't want it perfect. Like that, and then I just covered off most of it. See how it's turned out all mottled? That's because I don't want it all one colour, I want it different shades of it, and that's what I've done. Now that bit's a bit white there. That's okay. Hopefully I should get my flowers out of that. That's it dried off already. 
that away. And then we'd have to use these two um, I'm going to cut that out and the dark bit and cut two and one of these and then we need two of these leaves in white so I've got a scrap of white here which, oh it's wet but that's alright, I don't need to use that bit which we need two of them out let me see if this scrap bit is big enough. Yep. That can go in the bin. Right. Let's get cutting these out. just fits on my plate flour. Get rid of that. I'm going to cut out two of these. What I'm going to do, turn it around like that and pop a leaf on as well. small puppy and do the same again rid of this. We don't need these. So that is our flowers. And the only thing we've got left to do is to stamp out our sentiment. And I'm going to use Misty Moonlight to do that.
Have a perfect birthday. Close this up. Bring the little trimmer because I need to trim this down. Like that. I'm not going to cut this end off yet. I'm going to wait because I want to leave a bit on to rest the um, one of the poppies on. So let's put this card together, shall we? Let's make these poppies. Just straightening them out. While I right, these flowers here leaves are too long. So I'll just nip off the two bottom leaves. You'll understand why them when I go to put them on because you'll see them through the poppies and we can't show them off. So we'll get rid of them. Now I've got these cut out and The navy bits up to missing a small navy part. Hmm, where's that gone? I always do that. Oh well, I'll have to find it later and stick it down. All right, I'm gonna glue. this to the card base this and make sure I've got it is it that way or this way that way so we're going to glue Edges here. It's a good thing with this um, glue bottle with it having a fine tip on it. Try and get it to go on there without smudging all the glue. Once you, 
Once you've got one leaf in, the others will fall into place. No problem. And there we have our blue flower. Oh, let me try and sort this one out. There we are. And then I've got the round centerpiece for this one. I'll stick in like that in the middle that will flatten out eventually it's because I didn't let it dry quick enough for the um, before I filmed this I didn't I should have um, made one before made the flowers before um, oh, this way Stick the centerpiece in for this one. That looks like it's got half a miss missing. Right, and then this one. Going on very well. That's better. I just need to add some. Now that one hasn't got a middle centerpiece, so what I'm going to do is have to cut another one if I can find some night and navy cardstock.
find a strip. You ought to cut this out and I'll find it. Right. Now we need some dimensions. The first poppy will go down flat, and then the other two are on dimensionals, that way round. With this one, I've only got a small window to put dimensionals on, so I'm just going to put two small ones on here. This one, I can put a couple of big ones. And this one gets glued down. These, once it's glued down, will go under there, but I'm not going to glue that top bit for yet until I've got the leaves under. So this one will go down like that. to sit over like that and that one I want resting on there So we need to put dimensionals on my finger. There. I'm going to cut that much off. And I'm going to put two dimensionals here just to support the poppy because I'm actually going to glue part of the poppy onto it
where it's white around the edges I can actually glue that down like that I'm going to actually put a tip of glue just on that bit to keep it down there we are no, it'll just stay if I can get half of one of these on the back of it There we are. All we've got to do is add the leaves. And some gems. On the other one I did put five gems so let's do the same here. higher up, that don't matter. That's our card for today, I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comic, comment, comment as well. Um, if you do like them, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of all any videos I upload. Usually on Monday and a Friday. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of said videos when they're uploaded. All I can say is bye for now, and I hope to see you again soon.